Okay, good morning. You got about a minute. Go ahead and warm up your wrist. We're going to start with our timed three leg down dog. I'll get it right today. Uh, three leg down dog, one minute on each side, working on keeping the shoulders level. Um, and then hovering table. And then you have the option of forearm plank or plank. And you can add the spider taps as well, need a tricep. So we've got a total of four minutes, as always, for the start. So do what you need to do. You got about 30 seconds and then we'll set up. And then if you didn't get my email, um, just note that on Tuesday next week, I have to do this live at 7 a.m. Central Standard. So most of you are not showing up live anyway, so it's probably not a big deal. But if you do, just know that I will be on the mat at 7 a.m. that morning and I'll be sending the recording out as well. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So to set up your down dog, walk your hands forward from your tabletop. Lift your hips and just quickly measure, shift forward, stack elbows, wrists and shoulders, heels and toes, and then push back. All right, we have one minute. Lift your right leg. You can bring your left foot a little to the center and lift the right leg high. And go for depth here on that right leg, but keeping the shoulders level. So you've got to push a little more out of that left shoulder, hug the arms in. Weight into the thumb index finger, point and reach through the toes. Pull the belly in, drop the chest a little bit. You can soften that left knee. If you can get the heel down, it might make it easier. So bend the knee if that helps. And then let your head relax, but lift the ears up into the shoulders, arms hugging nice and tight. Hold here. If you find it real hard, bring your hands a little closer together. Just narrow that a little bit. Typically with handstand, I bring the hands a little closer. We're going to get 20 more seconds. Reach through the toes, push out of those shoulders, ears up, arms in tight. Drop the chest a little more. Last 10. We're just going to switch the legs in six, five, four, three, two. Drop the right foot into the center, lift your left leg high to the sky. Same thing, but now push a little more out of that right shoulder. Again, the arms, elbows hugging nice and tight. Lift the ears into the shoulders, reach through the left toes, point, chest lowers. Again, maybe right heel down, right knee bent. Try not to open the hips a lot here. Just lift the leg. Keep pressing, that's your mantra, push, press, push, press. Last 20 here, keep reaching through the toes, push them out of the way, arms in nice and tight, arms getting a little tired. So you're really press into that thumb index finger so you're not dumping into the wrist. You're here for 10. We're gonna move into hovering tabletop in eight, six, four, three, two. Come down into tabletop, curl the toes, and then press into the balls of the feet. Lift the knees about an inch and then dome slightly through the upper mid back. Now you're stacking elbows or shoulders. So start to grip the fingers. You'll do the same thing in your plank. You'll just walk the feet back or you can drop the forearms for the last exercise. So belly in nice and tight, dome through the upper mid back, push them out away. Take your shoulders or your trapezius muscles away from your ears and pull the chest or pull the crown of the head forward. Legs burning, you're here, 25. Draw the belly in, lift up, 20. I'm gonna shift into plank or forearm plank. And actually just walk your feet back if you're gonna stay in plank for 10, eight, six, keep pushing. Four, three, two, and one, plank, walk back, and then hold here. If you're dropping to form, just make sure shoulders and elbows are stacked. Lift through the core, lift through the quads. Legs are strong, core is strong. Arms are strong, don't stop pressing. Squeeze like you're holding a block between the biceps. Keep your head in line with your spine. So you're not lifting the head, you're not drooping the head. You're here, halfway. Keep pressing, you can do this. We'll get a child's pose right after this. Grip the fingers that will protect the wrists. For 20. Slow down the breath. All right, last little bit here, you guys, for 10, 
eight, six, stay strong, five, four, three, two, finish it out and drop down, child's pose. Let that go, relax your head, third eye to the mat. You can take reverse prayer over your neck, hands in prayer and then thumbs towards the nape of the neck. We're gonna make our way into downward facing dog. So just take the hands back forward in front of the tabletop, lift the hips. And then let's take a modified vinyasa just to warm the spine, shift forward slowly, bring your heart through your arms, lower your knees, lower all the way down the mat. Inhale, three cobra rows, rolls, lift the shoulders, press, draw the belly in, tap the chin. Again, press through the feet, lift the knees, lift the upper body, take the shoulders down. And then lower down one more time. Inhale, come up. And slowly lower down. Curl the toes, push into the knees, pick up the hip points, push, straighten the arms, and then send the hips back down. We're facing dog. We're going to take very five very slow vinyasas. Ripple through the spine as you shift forward. Bring your heart through your arms. Now you can take the knees down again or keep them lifted. Lower down slowly, chaturanga. Inhale, roll over the toes without dropping the shoulders. We're going to take this back through chaturanga. So press into the feet, send the heart forward, drop back down chaturanga, push through plank, and then back to downward facing dog. Keeping those arms in tight. You decide about the knees. Inhale, shift forward, pull the heart through the arms. And then knees or no knees, lower down chaturanga. Slowly roll over the toes without dumping into the shoulders. And then pull the belly in, send the heart forward, drop back to chaturanga, push through plank. Roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Let's do this again. Find a rhythm, shift forward, pull apart through the arms. Knees or no knees, chaturanga. Use your feet, your legs to roll into upward facing dog. Use your core, pull back, chaturanga. Push back through plank and back to downward facing dog. Two more. Inhale, pull the heart through the arms. Chaturanga. Up dog. Back through chaturanga. Back to plank. Back to down dog. We've got one more. Inhale, shift. Warming up those arms. Lower chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Back through chaturanga. Back through plank. And back to down facing dog. Hold here. Take a deep breath in. And take a deep breath out. All right, lift your right leg high to the sky. We've been here three-legged downward facing dog. Five toe taps out to the corner of your mat. Keep the leg straight, toes pointed. Send the leg high. Bring it outside tap. Send it high. Three more. Tap. Find length through that leg. Tap. One more time, all the way to the corner of the mat. Back to three legged dog. Prepare for crescent. Pull the knee in. Step through heel, ball toe. Okay, set your legs first. And then inhale, slowly rise up. Just warming up the legs here. Take your hands, interlace them, release your index fingers. Pull the belly in. You can lengthen through the tailbone by bending the left knee, sit a little lower, and then lift through the hamstring. All right, so we're going to tap the knee and pick up the heel at the same time. So as you reach up through the arms, lower tap the knee, pick up the right heel. Pick up the knee, drop the heel. Do that again. Knee down, heel up. Heel down, knee up. Tap and lift. Keep going. Keep the arms lifting you up out of the waistline. You've got four more. Three, two, and one. Now come down, tap the knee, and keep the heel lifted and hold. Lift that heel a little bit higher. Get it into the calf and stretch up from the waistline. And then slowly lower the heel, pick up the knee. And then bring your hands down. Send the right leg high. Open up to scorpion for this one. Circle out the knee. Send it high. And then prepare to step through for warrior two. Knee to the nose, step through heel, ball toe. Drop your back heel down. And then slowly windmill the arms come all the way up. Find warrior two. Bend into that right knee so it stacks over the heel. Extend through the arms. And if your left hip is sort of winging out, take your left hand and push it underneath you. Bring your chest more to the center and extend out through the arms. And now drive into that back heel, use the back leg. We're gonna move from this to Skandasana several times. So inhale, straighten the legs, reach up. Exhale, turn the toes, Skandasana. 
Take the high variation first. You can expand the wings. Inhale, rise up. Come on that heel. And then exhale back to warrior two. So the foot doesn't have to move position, but just lift to the heel to turn the toes. And then exhale, spin the arms out. Inhale, rise up nice and slow. Use the core to do the movement. Lower, warrior two. Inhale, pick up the toes, turn them, and then expand out. Rise up, warrior two. Four more. Go slow, so you use the muscles, not momentum. Expand out. Rise, and warrior two, three more. Two more. Try to get the hip shoulders and knees in a line. Good. One more time. Warrior two. Two skandasana. Hold the skandasana. This time take the arms, interlace your hands, release your index fingers, and stretch forward. And then see if you can start to come to the heel of the right foot and drop the hips, and then extend the arms. Stretch up. Try to get your body nice and long, lifting upwards. If you need to stay on the feet, that's fine. You can keep that midway point. Just reach forward. Hold here for five. Four legs are active, supporting you. Three, two, and one. Now stretch up and try to lift out of this. Come back to your warrior two. Hold it here. Reverse your warrior. Just open up that right side body. And then exhale, windmill the hands. Stand in your left hand and come to a side plank. We're here for a few breaths. So you may want to take the right foot in front of your left foot and squeeze the ankles together. And then stretch the right arm high. Now you have options. You can stay or you can tap the hip down. We're here for a tap of eight. Tap the hip all the way down and pick it up for eight. Lower down, tap, and lift. Otherwise, you're holding static. You've got three, two, one. Hold it up. And then roll through your plank, shift forward, take your vinyasa, add that extra chaturanga today. So as you pull it back, bend, and then back to plank, back to your downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Other side, lift your left leg high to the sky, point the toe, straight legged, bring the leg out to the left calf, and then send it high. Five, slowly with control, tap the toe, send it back. Two more. Prepare for crescent, send it high, three-legged dog, bring the knee to the nose, step through heel ball toe. Let's set the legs first on skis, rise up. Again, you can soften that right knee to find length in the tailbone, sit lower, take the bind, Kali Mudra, interlace your fingers, release index fingers, stretch up. Arms are locked, press through that back heel. And again, we're just tapping the knee and picking up the heel simultaneously. So set the legs first, get nice and stable, reach up, and then lower the knee, pick up the heel. Eight, lift the knee, drop the heel, do it again. Use the arms here to really lift you up so you don't lose the balance. Pick up four, three, two, and one. Now lower down this last one, tap the knee, pick up the heel. See if you can pick the heel a little higher, get into that calf, stretch up, pull the belly in. And then slowly pick up the knee, drop the heel, reach up crescent. And then exhale, bring the hands down, open up the hip for a second, just shuffle out that leg before we move into our warrior two. And then hold the knee into the chest, step through again. Warrior two, drop the right heel, bend the front knee, and then slowly rise up all the way, warrior two. We're here for a few breaths to settle in. Again, if that right hip is jutting out, take right hand into the hip, press it under, sit low into that front leg 90 degrees. Keep chest in the center, expand out through the fingers, extend through the arms, chest is lifted. So again, we're just keeping the legs in the same position, rotating on that heel. On your inhale, reach up, pivot the foot, and stay in that mid-level, skandasana, arms out. Inhale, pick up the toes, pivot on the heel, warrior two. Inhale, from the core, lift, and then exhale from the core, lower. Inhale, it's a lot more light if you can use that core to transition. Inhale, exhale. 
click on. Four more. Warrior two, expand. Lift up, skandasana, open out arms. Three. Two. One more, hold here. And now again, you're gonna to start to come down into that low, or take the arms forward first, interlace your fingers, telling mudra. You can stay here or start to pivot, drop the hips, come to the heel of the left foot, and then the arms go up. Body's gonna to wanna to lean forward here. So really try to lift the chest, use the arms to stretch up. You're here for five, four, three, two, one, use the arms to pull you back up through center and then find warrior two last time. Reverse your warrior, just stretch through that whole left side body and then slowly prepare side plank. Windmill the hand, stand in that right hand. Again, you're gonna probably wanna squeeze the ankles, especially if you're tapping the hips. Find a nice solid side plank. Grip the fingers, now either stay here or start to lower the hip without collapsing in that right shoulder. Pick it up, use your core, obliques, tap and lift, otherwise you're static, hold. You can come to forearms to uh, ease it if that hurts. You can just do the lifts and the lowers on your right forearm. Four, three, two, hold it up on one, hold it up there, and then roll to your plank, take your vinyasa, knees or no knees, add that extra chaturanga if you have it in you today, pull it back and then downward facing dog. Deep breath in and deep breath out. We're gonna do a little more traditional core today to get to our bum though. Look forward, we're gonna take a couple of frog hops. So frog hops are just landing outside the hand, so it looks like this, and the knees, and you just hop outside, squat, and then push back into a bent knee down dog. Do that a couple of times, try to land soft. Let's do two more. We'll meet in a squat in front of the mat. Hands at heart center. Good. Open up the knees. All right, and then just try to lean the upper body back, chest up, and then push into the feet and just hover hips in line with knees. Bring your upper body back. And now pulse here for 20, 18, 16. 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop back down into your squat and then drop the hips down. Find boat pose. You can tap the toes and reach forward. You can extend the legs straight or bent, but keep your chest up. Sometimes I like to keep the toes down so I can really focus on bringing the chest up and leaning back a little bit, finding that low belly strength. Hold here. We're gonna move this into some more traditional core on our backs. And then slowly come all the way on your back to low boat. Press your low back into the mat. Squeeze the legs, squeeze the butt. Maybe arms, grab the outer thighs. Hold here, push your low back down for five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and open up the legs. Arms out wide, we're gonna take alternating V-ups. So right hand to left foot, Lift up and tap, and then lower slowly. Other side, left hand, right foot, tap. Keep going. I'm doing eights today. One more each side. Two more. Last one here. And then stay on your back. Interlace your hands behind your head, bend your knees. Okay, double pulse bicycles. So as you bring the right elbow to the left outer leg, you're gonna pick up the legs first. You're gonna take right elbow to left leg and then tap twice. Extend the right leg, come to center and twist. 
Tap left elbow, outer right thigh, double tap. Keep going, double tap, double pulse. Nice and slow. This one's easy to kind of get into momentum. Halfway, four more. Two more. Last one. Okay, drop the feet, take a moment, stretch out the arms, and then plant the feet. And we'll take upper body crunches. So just hands behind head, try to lift the chin upwards, press down into the low back, and pick up the shoulders, lift the heart to the ceiling. Little hold at the top, so we're not just lifting and falling, kind of squeeze it at the top. We'll do 12 of these. Four, three, two, and one. And then arms down by your side. If you need a little bit of support, place the hands underneath the outer bum and extend the legs. So taking the legs all the way down to hover about an inch or two. And then as you lift up, Keep the legs on the hips, just try to lift the hips a little bit off the floor. Lower down again, and then lift and just work to get the hips an inch off the floor. Try to keep your low back on the mat. The hands are good to support that. Keep going. Six more. Last three, two, and one. Hover, and now lift the chin, look at the feet, and scissor kick. 10, eight, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pull the legs into the chest, rock it side to side. We've got one more. Go ahead and lift into a seated position. Take the fingertips behind you. Bend the elbows a little bit. Suitcase sit-ups assisted. Extend the legs, lower the, uh, the, the upper body. And then pull the knees into the chest and then expand out. Pull in, squeeze, expand out. Exhale in, inhale out. You've got eight. Six. Four, three, two, and one. And then extend the legs out, straddle as wide as you need or want. Place the right hand, I use the fist on this just to preserve the wrist a little bit, but either hands down or fist down, you're gonna bring the right hand in the center, left hand outside. Work on either just lifting the hips or picking up both feet. And then lower down, switch. Left hand in the center, right hand back. Hips up, maybe feet up. Lower, switch. Just try to pick up as best you can. Just try to get the hips up at a minimum. Keep going. Three. Two. Last round. Good. Now take the hands forward towards the foot, tent the fingertips, and then the harder the, the further the hands are, the harder it will be. So if you need to shift the hands back a little bit, you're just gonna pulse that left leg off the floor. 10, eight, six, four, three, two, hold it up on one, hold it, hold it, hold it. And then lower it down, switch sides. Bring the fingertips towards the ankle, push them out away, hollow the front body, pulse out the leg for 10, eight, six, Four, three, two, hold it up one, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, and lower it down. And then grab onto your shins, rock and roll a couple times, try to land into a crow, and then you'll take a vinyasa from there. If you want to skip the crow, you can. Otherwise, you'll rock, plant the feet, plant the hands, knees into the elbows or the arms, and then you'll shoot the legs back from there. Chaturanga. Back to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. 
and take a deep, deep breath out. We did these uh, on Tuesday. So we're gonna lift the right leg high, bring the knee and step forward for crescent. Rise up. We've been here, so settle in. And then start to shift into a warrior three. Reach forward, push off the front leg. We're gonna work into that right glute. Reach the toes back, reach the arms forward. And then keeping the body nice and long and strong, just soften the right knee, tap the left big toe. And then straighten the right leg, pick the left leg back up into parallel. Bend the right knee, tap the left foot. Straighten and lift. Bend and tap. Straighten and lift. Keep going. Just a little tap. We're not putting a lot of weight on that foot. We've got four more like this. Three. Really feel this in the right glute. Two. And one. Now hold it up here, warrior three. Now single leg deadlifts. So you're going to bring the left, the hands down to the mat and then rise up. Bring the foot to meet the other foot. Send the leg back, tap the fingers. Drive the leg through, rise up. Keep going like this. Push into that right foot. Stay out of the hip. Try not to collapse everything. Move with your core strong. Four more like this. Three. Two. And one. Come back through to your warrior three. Oh, I'm sorry, bring the foot in the stand up. Now step the left foot to the right. Bring the hands to the heart and begin to twist over that right leg. Try to hook the arm if you can. Pull the left knee back, drop the hips, lift the chest, twist. Try to stack the elbows. Then come to the balls of the feet and lower down into a squat with your twist. Try to pull the chest forward and then twist from there. Okay, you're welcome to stay or bring your hands outside, fingers facing forward, chaturanga arms. And then lean to that right hand a little bit and see if you can start to pick up the left foot and then maybe the right foot. Side crow, hold it here. Grip the fingers, lift the heart, try to square the shoulders, try not to dump into that right shoulder. And then just lower the feet down. Just thought we'd throw it in today. Go ahead, forward fold, shake it out. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, take a crow, vinyasa. We'll be back in down dog for the other side. Now we're facing dog. Lift your left leg high to the sky, prepare. Step through heel, ball, toe for crescent. Rise up. Set the legs. And then again, we're transitioning into our warrior three through that front leg. So pull the belly and reach forward and then float the back leg. Stand all the way up, get everything to parallel first. Reach forward and back. And then again, just gently soften the left knee, tap the right big toe, straighten the leg, pick up the leg. Tap and lift. Bend and tap, straighten and lift. Keep going, use that left glute. Four more here, four. Three, two, and one. Come back to your warrior three first, and then bring the fingers to tap, and then straighten, bring the right leg to hover next to the left. Take the leg back to parallel, tap the fingers, pull the leg back through. But nice and slow, look at one spot, it helps with balance. Push and drive through that left foot as well. You've got four more. Nice and steady. Three, two, last one, we're gonna hover that foot and then step it to meet the left. Bend the knee, sit into your chair, twist over to the left, hook the arm, get low in your chair. Work here, you don't have to go any further than this today if you don't want, if you've got it though. You wanna start to lift the heels and come to the balls of the feet, squat down, balance here, twist, twist, twist. That arm hooked, again, side crow, bring the arms outside the leg, fingers facing forward, lean to that left finger, or left hand rather, pick up both legs. And then gently place the feet down, straighten the legs forward, fold, shake it out again, let that go. And then inhale, half lift, plant the hands, crow or no crow, take your vinyasa. You can add that extra chaturanga. You didn't do your curl. 
Otherwise, sound dog. And then drop down to the shins. So come onto the shins here. And then interlace your fingers and stretch the arms forward. So the palms facing out. And then feet about hips width distance, knees about hips width distance. So we're gonna try to lean back with a straight spine. We're not, we're not um, bringing the hips back. We're bringing the whole body back. And just stretch the arms forward. Feel this in the quads and in the core. Press into the shins. You can squeeze the butt a little bit here and then reach forward. And pull the shoulder blades apart, leaning back until the legs are on fire. And then maybe stretch the arms up and come up. We'll do that a few times. So reach forward, lean back, go to your maximum. We're not here long and then come back up, arms up. Do that again, lean back, reach forward to counter. Come back up. So using the quads and the core, lean back, come up, two more. Lean back, come back up. Last one, lean back, come back up. Now bring the hands to the heart. We're gonna lean back and take a little Russian twist. So elbows side to side. Lean back a little bit, hands at heart, and then move side to side. Eight, seven, keep going. Lean back a little more, four. Get the legs to burn, three, two, one. Come back to center. Reach up, interlace your fingers, release your index fingers, pull the ribs in, lengthen tailbone, stretch up. And then hips to the left, go up and over the right. Let's find our half moon stretch here today. Really hug the butt in, reach up and over, right shoulder forward. Feel that expansion through the left side. No collapsing on the right. Use the obliques, pull everything in nice and tight. Reach and stretch, pull the left arm with the right arm, lock out the arms, squeeze the palms. Find your core even tighter. Inhale, come back to center. Switch the grip. Release index finger, stretch up. Pull ribs in, squeeze the butt. Move the hips to the right, up over through that right rib cage. Lift up and over, stretch. Squeeze the palms as you pull the right arm with the left arm. Biceps with the ears, chin up. Everything in nice and tight. Stretch over the left, come down. Push your hips right, reach to the left, come down. Hold it here. Really find the core. Inhale, come back to the center. And then release your hands down. All right, we're gonna come onto our belly. Shift forward, come all the way down. Take your arms forward, take your legs back, open them up shoulder width and hips with distance. You can just take your third eye down and your chin to the mat. Pick up your left hand or left arm rather and your right leg. Just reach, you can lift the head too if that's more comfortable. But extend through the fingers, extend through the toes, lift the opposite hand and foot. And then lower those down and pick up the opposite set. Reach and stretch opposite directions. Lift a little bit higher, reach out a little bit wider, lift up. And lower down, do that again, other side. Expand, lift, and then lower, other side. Reach and stretch and lift, reach and stretch and lift, and lower, and now everything's gonna lift up. Reach out and away, and then peel everything up. Slide around. Reach through the toes and the fingers, find more length, and then lift up a little bit higher. Do that again, reach away, stretch and lift and hold for five, four, Three, two, and one, lower down. Bring your hands under your shoulders. Actually, bring your elbows under so they land in sinks. Pick your elbows up about an inch or two and then pull them back and drag your heart forward. Press into your feet. You're welcome to add straighter arms here if that feels okay. And then lower down for a second. Slide the hands for Cobra. Press into the feet and keep the feet a little bit apart here. And you're just gonna pick up the body and pick up the hands. And then lower, tap the hands. Press into the feet, lift the knees, lift the upper body. Three more, tap and lift. Again, tap and lift. One more time, pick it up and hold it. Hold it here, now pulse, 10, eight, six, four, three, two, one, lower down. All right, now bring your arms back to Sphinx. Curl your toes, pick up your hip points, pick up your knees, find forearm plank. All right, you have plank ups. Feet about hips with distance, really stabilize through the legs. Plant the right hand, plant the left hand, come to plank. Drop the right forearm, drop the left forearm. Now switch, left hand, right hand straighten, left forearm, right forearm. Right hand, straighten left hand. 
Right forearm, left forearm. Now pick up the pace, just switch. So you're gonna go right, left. Stabilize through the core. Keep going. Pull your elbows in too. Try not to let them wing out a lot here. Find those triceps. You've got five more. Four more. Three more. Last two. Hold your plank after your last one. Grip the fingers, hold the plank. Hold the belly and then downward facing dog. Push them out of the way. We're ready for our blue work today. So drop down, set up for forearm. Start with the left leg, bend your left knee, flex your foot, pick it up and push through your heel. Squeeze it at the top, lower with control. This is the time you can just close the eyes now. I'll do the counting. You know, we're here for just a little bit on one side. Push and squeeze at the top. All the way up. Push and squeeze. Lower with control. Highest point, push and squeeze five, four, three, get ready. Two, we're gonna hold that last one up, highest point, now little pulses, squeezes. For five, four, three, two, hold it up, one. Straighten out the leg, flex the foot, tap the big toe, same action, lift and squeeze, keep the leg straight. Hug that right hip in. Keep pushing through your form so you're not collapsing in the middle back. All the way up, nice and slow as you descend. Five, all the way up, highest point, little squeeze. Four, three, get ready to hold it up there, two, and now last one, hold it at highest point, little pulses, squeezes. 10, eight, six, four, three, two, hold it up, one. Come to left fingertips, spin, turn your toes to the left, stack everything, lift the leg high. Now lift it up and pulse, outer glute. Keep going, 10, eight, six, four, three, two, hold it up, one. Come back to the center, turn the toes down, close off the head, but keep the leg up, walk to the right, 45, leg out, 45. So we're working into that glute hamstring attachment point, leg up high, little pulses, little squeezes. Lift it higher. Eight, six, four, two, and one. Come back to the center, bend the knee, heel to the bum, hug the right hip in, and then lift the knee out at an angle. Kick, and then squeeze the glute as you straighten the leg. Push through that heel. Bend and straighten with control. We got 10. Eight, six, four, three, two, and one. Tap your foot outside and then a big kick. Ten, big karate kick. Eight, six, five, four, three, two, and one, bring it back down like we started for fire hydrants. Lift and lower out to the side. 10, eight, six, four, three, 
two, and one. Come down onto your belly for sinks. And then just pick up that or bend the left leg and pulse it up. 10, eight, six, four, three, two, and one, and release. Come back, shake it out side to side. Let's do other side here. Last little bit of today's class. Come back through to your forearm, tabletop, starting right leg now, bend the leg, flex the foot, and then kick it straight up through the heel and lower it all the way down. Push and squeeze at the top, lower with control. and controlled, squeeze it at the top. Five, all the way up, lower with control. Three, get ready. Two, last one, you're gonna hold it at highest point, little pulses, squeezes. For 10, eight, six, Four, three, two, hold it up one, straighten the leg, tap the toe, lift up and squeeze. Nice and slow, control. Squeeze it at the top. For six, five, four, three, two, get it up there, hold it up there, pulse it out, 20. Ten, eight, six, four, three, two, hold it up, one, spin, stack, turn your toes to the right, lift the leg up high, pulses, outer glute. Ten, lift it higher. Six, four, three, two, hold it up. One, spin, keep the leg up and turn the toes down, close off the hip, go to the left, 45, right leg out, 45. Lift it up higher, pulse. Glute, a hamstring, attachment point, little squeezes right where the underwear meets the butt. Lift it higher. Keep squeezing, 10, eight, Six, four, three, two, hold it up, one. Come back to the center, bend the knee, lift the knee up, hug that left hip under, push and kick through your right heel, squeeze the glute when you straighten the leg. Going last five here, four, three, two, one. Straight leg, tap the toe outside left ankle, kick it out. Ten, lift it up. For three, two. Hold it out there on one, fire hydrant, bring it back in, lift up and lower to the height of the hip, 10. You got five, almost there, four, three, two, and one. Come back down onto your belly, stinks. Keep those left toes curled under for stability. Open the legs a little bit, bend the right knee this time. And then just get the thigh off the mat, pulse it straight up. 12, 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. When you're down there, go ahead and bring your hands and make a pillow. 
Bring your knees out and bring the soles of the feet together. Try to press the soles of the feet together. And then here, we're just gonna lift both legs up for 20 and tap. Last exercise. Get both thighs off the mat, squeeze the feet together. Last little bit, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, keep going, two, and one, release. All right, press it back, shake your hips side to side here, stretch that out, pigeon, spinal twist, work out your wrists, so just kind of pay attention to your body always after these practices. Allow yourself a little time to stretch it out, pull it down, whatever you need most. And I will see you guys Tuesday, hopefully live 7 a.m. If not, you'll get the recording. Um, I'll be doing Thursday uh, from Florida. So that's why we're traveling for spring break. So have a great weekend. I'll see you guys soon. Namaste.